to the Heads Together podcast. I'm your host, your Mokes, and thank you for joining me again this week. It means the world to me that listener numbers for this podcast are growing steadily week on week. And I just can't really thank you enough because that fills my bloody cup. It's an amazing feeling and it's what I want for all of the clients I work with. It's what I want for all of you listening to find your thing. Podcasting is my thing. It's my platform. And yeah, it's really important for me that you will find your platform too, because this feels good. Okay. So in today's episode, I want to talk about what it really feels like to go all in, to really back yourself. And this is a topic that has been prompted by our recent unapologetic retreat, where our guests, without exception, all made a choice during that week. They all made a choice to go all in, to stop playing small and to really embrace and bring to life their wildest dreams for their businesses and for their lives. And it was pretty damned phenomenal to witness. So it's absolutely what's prompted this episode. I can't wait to get into talking about this because I've done loads of thinking in preparation for this episode about what it really feels like, because I know that everything changed for me when I made this choice. And now I want to share that with you. So let's dive in. Welcome, welcome to the Heads Together podcast. I'm Jill Mokes, and I am obsessed with cutting through the noise when it comes to growing your business. Each week via intimate coaching conversations and inspirational stories, I share what it really takes to get the results you want in a way that feels right to you. I am all about attracting higher ticket opportunities, building authentic relationships and creating the abundant full fat version of your dream business. I mean, how many of us have beavered away creating a light version of what we really want? The thing is, I honestly believe when you're outstanding at what you do, there is no limit to what you can achieve. So, are you ready to put our heads together and make it happen? Let's go. So what does going all in actually mean? It is this kind of phrase that's really banded about a lot in business circles and It's actually, I mean, it comes from like the poker game metaphor, doesn't it? You know, which is like, it represents high stakes, going all in, taking a big risk, risking everything on a single hand. So it's come to mean taking big risks and risking everything on a big venture or a big decision. But what does it really mean? What does it really feel like to commit yourself entirely to your path? What does it mean to actually make a decision instead of sitting back and wishing for something to happen? How does it feel when you actually make the decision that it is going to happen? And this is about when you stop compromising and start choosing yourself for success. And that's something I've talked about a lot in previous episodes, this concept of choosing yourself for success. It's a choice that we all can make. So like I said, I've been really thinking about what does it really feel like? And I think the first thing that came to me was when I was thinking back to, and it wasn't, I don't think it was a a moment. It wasn't like a lightning bolt with me of saying, right, that's it from this moment on, I'm going all in. But at the same time, it did happen over, you know, maybe a couple of months of flim flamming a little bit over what I wanted to do 
a lot of um, that flim flamming was when I was stuck thinking I had to build my business the way other people build their businesses. And I was listening too much to the voices. So for example, one of them was that you can't scale a one-to-one coaching practice. And that was a narrative that I picked up on. And so I wasted a lot of time trying to think of ways that all felt unnatural to me to scale my business that didn't involve one-to-one coaching until I actually realized that I bloody love one-to-one coaching. I love the intimate relationship that I build with my clients that resolves in such incredible results for them. There is nothing that matches one-to-one coaching. I really believe that. So things like that, taking a decision to stop listening to other people. And, you know, to this day now, one-to-one coaching is my main offer. It's the main thing that I do. It's how I want to spend my day. Now, that's not to say that I don't have other offers or that I won't have other offers in the future too. But one-to-one coaching will always be the thing I love the most. I know that about myself. So for me, that's going all in. It's ignoring the noise that other people contribute to your decision and really listening and embracing your own intuition. Again, it's the, it's the I word, listening and trusting to your own intuition, not compromising and choosing yourself for success. So I think when it first happens and you first have that realization of, hang on, I don't need to do things the way other people do things. What if I make a decision to go all in on the way I want to do it? It's like that Wim Hof plunge into ice water, I think. It's like shocking. And suddenly, it's like there's no room for any half measures. Anything that's lukewarm in your business suddenly feels very uncomfortable because, I don't know, that that icy shock, I think, it brings everything into focus. And when you focus, we know that's when the magic happens, when we really focus on something. Loads of us play lip service to this. You know, we know it's true and yet we still are fluffing around doing lots of bits and pieces that aren't really moving the needle in our businesses, the busy work. Yeah. But when you get really focused, when you decide to go all in, you're doing something really important. What you're doing is you're giving up the safety of the shore. You're giving up the safety of being able to see the beach and you're swapping that for navigating all of the challenges that going deep bring. And that's scary. That is scary. So I get that. It means that all your days of playing it safe are over. You're making a decision to no longer feel safe. Pretty counterintuitive, wouldn't you say? Right? But actually, I don't think that lasts. That feeling doesn't last because what happens is that the feelings of terror (laughs) are suddenly matched by this feeling of like exhilaration. When you've decided that you're going to invest all your resources and your focus into bringing that wildest dream to life, you're going all in, there's no compromise then what happens is that every little win becomes amplified. Okay. And it's a space, I guess, of like true innovation. Because when you've given up that safety of the shore, you have no choice but to innovate when something happens that isn't a win. So the wins are amplified, but so are the losses. And what you'll find is that your decision making becomes absolutely bloody on point. It gets faster. You're more decisive. Making decisions becomes so much easier. There's literally no room for indecision when you're gone all in, right? Because the vision that you have is so clear. You're not distracted anymore by all the what ifs and the maybe some days. You've got this single focus, which is 
success as you have defined it. Your version of going all in is success on your terms. And that's very focused. And there's something else that I thought about this as well. And that is that it actually becomes a little bit contagious. When you decide to start operating at this level, this, when you start taking these choices away, taking away all the little decisions, because, you know, it becomes obvious what's aligned and what isn't when you've actually made the commitment to go all in, to go all in, to stop compromising is what I mean to stop playing small. When you make that decision, you find that it becomes contagious and, and you it gets easier and easier to operate at that level the more you do it. I guess it's a little bit like, you know how we always talk about when you're, you're trying to find the courage to, to make a big decision. And if you're not someone that's used to taking risks or making scary choices, sometimes one of the best ways is to really build that muscle by making small, easier decisions over and over until the big decisions, the, the decisions that take courage become much easier because you've worked that courage muscle. And I think it's a bit like that. I think going all in is something that once you start it, the more you commit to it, the easier it becomes. And it's no longer a decision after a while. So for me now, I can't imagine kind of making a backwards decision that was like, well, mm, I know what the full fat version of my business looks like, but do you know what? Actually, I'm, I'm going to settle for this, whatever this might be. Yeah. I just can't even imagine that now. And that's what I want for you. I want you to get to a point where playing small is like a distant memory. It's just not something you do anymore. And that feels natural to you. Going all in on what you truly want becomes very natural to you, right? On a personal level too, it's a transformation that can be really, really profound. So when you do choose yourself for success, it sends such a powerful message, really, to, even to your subconscious, that you are worth risk, right? So it's really self-affirming. You might find that, you know, relationships can change on the back of this. Some relationships you might outgrow. Others you might find strengthen because you're, you're kind of drawing closer to people who get it, people who share and support that vision. Another thing that's happened for me definitely is that you become a lot more protective of your time and your energy. I think it's a really easy throwaway thing to say, which is, you know, oh, once you're successful, you can choose who you work with and da, da, da. Actually, it's way deeper than that. It's way more profound than that. There's a really, really good reason. There's lots of good reasons for only working with clients who are really aligned with your values. Uh, one of them is that they are the clients that you will get the best results for. So from their perspective, it's really important that you only agree to work with clients who you feel that level of alignment with. But also from your own perspective, the energy that you need to invest to work with a client who isn't an absolute good fit, that energy expenditure is too expensive, right? So I think this is another reason that once you fully commit to going all in, part of that commitment is working in complete alignment with your values and your goals. And like I said before, it's, it's an, it becomes a non-decision. It's not difficult. It becomes laser focused. It becomes decision making becomes easier. So that level of personal growth, you know, that's immense. And there's growth all the time when you go all in. When you stop playing small, it's continuous growth. You get pushed all the time. You're pushing yourself to develop new skills and, and step outside your comfort zone, of course. Confront your fears, of course. You know, this isn't comfortable necessarily. It isn't. But do you want comfortable? I think that's the question you've got to ask yourself. 
Do you want comfortable or do you want that success that you define on your terms? Because if you want that success, you have to go all in. Emotional roller coaster comes to mind <laughs> because there are going to be moments of doubt. Naturally, there's going to be moments of fear. There's going to be massive bouts of imposter syndrome that still comes to bash us all over the head from time to time. But when you compare those to the moments of clarity, relief, joy, you you know, for me, there's just no contest. I will take any amount of imposter syndrome that my mind wants to dump on me if I can have the clarity a vision that comes with really going all in, of knowing what I'm creating in my business, of absolutely knowing beyond doubt the impact that I'm going to have on my clients' businesses and lives. That's worth it. The fear's worth it, definitely. And I think the key really is resilience. It's that belief that no matter the outcome, the risk of going all in is worth the person you become in the process. I'm going to say that again. It's harnessing the belief that no matter the outcome, the risk of going all in is worth the person you become in the process. I hope that's resonated with you. I've been, I've been apologizing to Lena and my podcast editor all the way through this because I've been doing these really long pauses. And I know when I do that, I know it's because I'm talking about a topic that really matters to me. <laughs> because as I'm talking, I'm kind of like processing it myself in my head while I'm doing that, which is a very strange thing, probably oversharing there for you, but you know me, always the oversharer. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do to go all in? Are you going to go all in? Are you going to make the choice? You know, we're coming to the, towards the end of 2023. Hopefully, and we'll be talking about this in, in the next couple of episodes, but hopefully you're starting to think about planning for 2024. Is that the year? Is next year the year you are going to go all in? You're going to stop playing small, stop compromising, make a stand for the and make the impact you want to make and create the wealth you want for yourself and your family is next year the year you're going to actually make the choice to do it. Not hope you'll do it. Are you going to make the choice? Because that's what it is. It's a choice. It's a commitment. It's a commitment to taking a course of action that leaves no room for turning back, where every choice is completely directed towards carving out that success that you want your definition of success. I hope that this has really resonated with you. I think this is such an important concept and I don't know if I've done it justice. I mean, I'm sure you'll, you'll let me know, I hope, but it is really probably the most important mindset shift you'll ever make as a business owner is when you're ready to take a deep breath and just make that decision that there's going to be no more agonizing over the direction you're going in. There's going to be no more agonizing over this strategy, that strategy, this offer, that offer. You're actually going to set all of that to one side and make a decision to go absolutely all in, come right back to who you are and the really full fat version of the business you want to create. And then make every one of those smaller decisions relevant to that big choice. That's when it becomes easier. Okay. Oh, deep one. Okay. Well, have a great week and I will see you back here again. Same time, same place next week. Bye for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode and that getting our heads together this week has filled your mind with what's possible. If you love the show, would you do me a massive favour, please? Would you leave a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts? It would really help you put more heads together, reach more ears and expand more minds. Until next week, bye for now.